one of our issues that we ran into was like when we initially thought we were collaborating, like we were trying to delegate responsibilities on each other. That's so good and so true. Cause like collaboration is really a partnership. The word selfishness actually came to mind, yeah, but yeah. I never said it because I feel like that's like a trigger word. Every sector that is doing something at scale and is doing something successfully, collaboration is an essential part. You are literally not the same man that I married. We're back in the building, everybody. It is mornings with my muse. It's your boy, Elijah Muse. And <laughs> <laughs> we're with Avriel Chanel Muse. <laughs> Not him doing the whole government. Hey, we out here. So we're back. It's been, I don't know, six months, a year. And this is going to be the first episode out of many. This is... I'm just gonna call it season one because we didn't <laughs> we didn't try doing season one a couple of times, but hey, this is this is official relaunch and this is the official season one. Um, we don't know how many episodes season one is gonna be, but it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> the way we've been never completed a season, yeah, 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 it's actually embarrassing. But we're back and we're better than ever. Okay, we are, we are. So welcome, 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 welcome one, welcome all. Today for our first episode back, we are going to be talking about what, babe. Collaboration is greater than independence. Oh, mm, that's that's got that's got something on it. Collaboration is greater than independence. Hmm, okay, and so yeah, where are we gonna start off today? Yeah, I think it'll just be good to just get into why we're even talking about this and what mm -hmm. we're learning right now in this season when it comes to collaboration and why it's so important for us to even share it with you guys because yeah. we've been married for. It's going to be seven years in October, and we're realizing that there's another level of unity. There's another level of collaboration that yeah. we have not faithfully walked into, and we believe that's actually what's hindered our next level. Hmm. So, babe, what do you feel like has hindered you or us from walking in that level of collaboration? Yeah, to a certain extent. Dent, I kind of want to say selfishness. That's crazy that you said that because when we were brainstorming this episode, the word selfishness actually came to mind. And we didn't talk, we didn't say it. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. never said it because I feel like that's like a trigger word. But that's crazy that you said that. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't say like selfishness in a toxic sense, but just in the sense that like we both have our goal, like personal goals, career goals. Uh, we have our dreams. And I think when it comes to career, there's not a lot of overlap. Yeah. You know, and so for yeah, the first five, six years of our marriage, it was like we've it was hard to to find the middle ground of okay, where how can we partner together outside of like you working for my business and helping me out. Yeah. Or me um, being in all of your social media posts and YouTube videos um, and doing stuff that I like, I wasn't necessarily in love with. Yeah. Um, and the yeah. same with you, like helping out with my business. Like it wasn't the stuff that I was asking you to do. It wasn't things that you were, things that you were good at. I would even say great at. Great at, But yeah. things that you didn't love. Yeah. You know, um, and so I think, yeah, it was just like, we were too busy trying to get the other person to do what we wanted them to do instead of literally sitting down and finding a mutual passion, a mutual love, yeah, um, a mutual area of calling, something where we feel like we're both gifted in, we both have a desire to do it, we both have a, a yearning to do it, and this is something that we feel like God is leading us both into. Yeah. Because other than that, it was more so like, I got a business and I need these things done, and instead of hiring somebody else, like I'll, I'll just you. ask my wife yeah. and then that's partnering together technically, yeah. but you know, it's not, it's not a partnership that's going to last if two people are not in love with what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the same thing with like, you've tried to get me to do YouTube videos and I have, um, and I'll appear in a social media post here and there, but it's like something I not only don't have a desire to do, I like have a desire not to do. Yeah. Yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head. In the past, we've always tried to get the other person to do the thing that we want them to do it the way we want we them want to them do it. To do it. Yeah, yeah. So 
it's actually not bad that you wanted me to help you out in your business. And it's not bad that I wanted you to appear with me on social. Mm -hmm. What is bad is that we never came together and said, well, how do you feel like you'd feel comfortable supporting me where you are visible, but you're doing it in a way that feels comfortable to you? Mm -hmm. And recently we just did that, which is why we were like, at the end of the day, the podcast feels so right. Yeah. Because... Elijah is a huge reader, a huge thinker, and he loves sharing his ideas. And I love social media, and I know that I'm called to it. I know that we're called to it together as a unit. But a lot of times on my social media, I'm doing, you know, silly things. Yeah, trends. Trends. Or motivational videos, inspirational videos, geared at women. Things right. Like that. Yeah, yeah. And Elijah mm -hmm. doesn't want to show up at that capacity. But this is something that's his speed and the way that he would like to show up. And it just makes sense that we would do it this way because this is how I like to show up as well. As much as I have a silly trend, you know, I like to vibe a certain way on mm -hmm. social. Yeah, yeah. I also really love and value our conversations right, right, right. and value what comes from those conversations. And it just makes sense that we would share that with you all. And mm -hmm. it's also not bad that you wanted me to help you with the business. Yeah. But in the past, because I'm so strong at like admin, Elijah would be like, can you just do the admin? Take, take over. Yeah, 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 just handle that. <laughs> and I'm like, and I hate doing, I, even though I'm great at it, I hate doing it. Even in my own business, that is something I've delegated out yeah, yeah. Or, because yeah, I don't mm -hmm. like doing it. Yeah. Um, but I think because it's something that I've been strong in, Elijah's like, it makes sense that you would do this in my business. Yeah. But I'm actually a strong operator. I'm a strong thinker as well. So yeah. it makes sense that I would come in your business and I would do operations. Yeah, yeah. So it just really matters that you guys come together in the right way mm -hmm. and not in the way that you think the other person should come and support you. Because at the end of the day, where I'm weak, he's strong. Where he's strong, I'm weak. And we need to put those things together yeah. and see how we can balance each other out so that we can serve each other because our marriage is not just for us. Yeah. It's for others. Yeah, that's true. That's so all those things that you said are amazing. Um, I think it's been hard. It's definitely been hard to navigate this whole partnership thing when it comes to purpose specifically. Because like, yeah. I think we've partnered well when it comes to um, everything outside of purpose. Like, yeah, so, family. Well, family is purpose, but like we've partnered together well when it comes to family. I think we do a great job of parenting together. Um, when it comes to marriage, I feel like we do a good job and like we're constantly having conversations and trying to figure out how do we do this better. Yeah. Um, but just like we've always known that we were called to do something together in marriage, like kind of like intersection of career and purpose, um, which those things I think should well not necessarily should work in tandem, but can work in tandem. Yeah. Um, and I think it's been one of the reasons also has been hard is because I think we do balance each other out in a lot of great ways, like the admin part that you brought up. I am actually bad when it comes to administrative things. Yeah. Like I have zero care and zero focus on that stuff. And so like you're good in that area. And so I think um, like when a, a situation like that or flipped, like where you want me to be in a lot of your content, like, and I think I can show up well when I do, like when I'm engaged in it, but like the desire is not there at all to do that. Yeah. And so it's like, I think if the desire was there on both of those pieces, it was like, those would actually be great partnerships because it's like the skill and the talent is there to be able to do it, but the desire is not there. Right. And I think when you're talking about purpose, desire has to be there. Like God I places agree. a desire in you to pursue the things that he's made you for. Right. Um, and so it's kind of been like, we've been trying a bunch of stuff because like, you're good at this. Um, and what it, I've, we've listened to some entrepreneurs talk about it. It's like you have an area of expertise and you have an area like an area of genius, a zone of genius, where it's like you can be an expert, you can be good at something, but it's not your area of genius because of that desire piece. Yeah. So um, this has felt like the perfect middle ground. The perfect, yeah, 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 the perfect ground. match for that. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for where this is going to go. Yeah. So since today we're talking about collaboration is greater than independence, we thought it would make the most sense to actually define the words. So we made sure to just take a look at the definitions and get really technical with it because 
it was really helpful for just bringing up some of our talking points. Yeah. And I think like in order to really understand whatever it is that you're talking about, you should understand the words that you're using. Exactly. So collaboration, mm -hmm. the definition for that word is the action of working with someone to produce or create something. We really liked that definition because even us coming together, I really believe we're going to create something greater and produce something more than we ever could have created and produced independently. independently. Mm -hmm. And one of the verses that came to mind was Ecclesiastes 4 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a Glory. good return for their labor. That, oh when I went back over that scripture, I'm like, yeah. I've heard that scripture so many times, yeah, yeah. but the have a good return for their labor part really hit home in a different way. Mm -hmm. Because I yep. think even in our family and in our marriage, we've collaborated so well in our family. Yeah, We have a beautiful, beautiful kids, family, yeah. gorgeous kids. I mean, so well internally behaved. and out, uh, you know, yeah. outward. <laughs> yeah. But we have a beautiful family and we've collaborated so well on that piece. But I think the piece where I feel like we have so much more desire for greatness is the area of purpose and career. Right. And we <laughs> believe that we haven't hit that fullness of unity, that fullness of getting a good return for our labor because we haven't collaborated. Yeah. And like, I think if you look at our life, like the areas that are thriving have the collaboration piece built in. Woo! The areas that, not just, I wouldn't say lacking, but we haven't seen the fullness. The fullness. Of, of our expectations and like what we know God has called us to is because there hasn't been a high level of collaboration. Yeah. I think in even like that's in my business. Um, I'm going into what, four years of owning a business. And we were having conversations this morning about how I'm in a place now to where I have a couple of people working for me, working with me. Um, but in order to get like, I'm trying to go from six figures to seven figures in yeah. my business. In order to get to seven figures, I'm going to need a higher level of collaboration. Yeah. You know, in order for us to see what we want to see um, when it comes to success, I think that's going to require collaboration in this sense. And not even just us, but like building a team around yeah. us, you know, making sure that we have people that can help film, that can help edit, that can help do all the things. Um, and I think I would challenge everybody who's listening to this um, and who wants to see another level of success, another level of growth. Is like look at every area of your life. Yeah. Look at every single area of your life and figure out where can you collaborate with other people more? Like, where are you trying to do things where maybe you're not the strongest? And instead of you spending time trying to get better at the things that you're bad in, like how about you spend time just finding someone who's good at it already? So good. And collaborate with them. Um, and then I think something else that popped up in my mind too was collaboration is not the same thing as delegation either. Mm. So I think like one of our issues that we ran into was like when we initially thought we were collaborating, we were actually trying to get each other, like we were trying to delegate responsibilities on each other. That's so good and so true. Cause like collaboration is really a partnership. And so like, I think in the, in bus in the business sense, if I have a partner, I have someone who does something way better than me, right? Someone who has a strength who normally, like if you have a good collaboration, their strength falls in the area that you're weak in yeah. and vice versa. My strengths should, if it's a good partnership, lie in the area where they're weak in, right? So it's like we complement each other. That's good. Um, and if you have that, then you get an exponential result versus like delegation is essentially you just hiring someone to do a job. Right. And that can take something off of your plate, but that's subtractive, not additive. That's so and it's subtractive, good. not even uh, it can't multiply. It's just going to take away from it's going to take things off of your plate. You preaching. So, um, yeah, I think. If you're going to collaborate, collaborate intentionally and make sure you're not just trying to get someone to do something that you want. That is so good. And while you were talking, what mm -hmm. came to mind is that is why collaboration requires trust yeah because yeah if you are 
delegating to someone a lot of times people are delegating the areas that one they don't want to do and two it's like oh, okay i'm just delegating this is like a lower level job mm -hmm. you know uh anyone can do admin work anyone can do emails anyone could do you know those little tasks in the business if we're going to use the example of business whereas a true collaboration and a true partnership is two strong minds coming together and I'm trusting you to with, expand a vision. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting you to expand my vision as opposed to you delegating something and you're just a essentially a workhorse to like to follow. Yes. You know? That's so, so good. I love that you touched on that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next definition. That was, yeah, that was the definition of collaboration. And so then the next one independence. is independence. Not depending on another for a livelihood or subsistence. Okay. And the other definition for that, it's capable of thinking or acting for oneself. Okay. Capable of thinking or acting for oneself. Not depending on another for a livelihood or subsistence. Not depending on another for livelihood. Okay. And so we're saying that collaboration, working with others, is better than being able to ind independently live on your own, make, uh, make your own money, be completely separated and not dependent on anyone else which connects with the point that i just made when it comes to trust because you have to trust the person that you're collaborating with to depend on them for mm -hmm. your livelihood that is so important because even with us in our marriage this requires a level of trust we're going mm -hmm. into this thing together and we're trusting and believing that the other person's going to pull their weight do what they need to do yep because we're believing that it's going to be an income source. Mm -hmm. And that is us depending on each other yeah. for a livelihood. And one of the things we were talking about is it's actually biblical to depend on each other. Yeah, It's the world that tells us don't depend. You can't depend on anyone. You need to be individual. You need to depend on yourself. But honestly, I love the fact that I have a husband that I can depend on. Right. I make jokes all the time with my best friend about our husbands and where would we be without them <laughs> truly yeah, and vice versa. you know because at the end of the day i love the uh, the fact that i have a home to go home to at the end of the night i can sleep peacefully i'm in a good home and my husband is the major reason for that and he has allowed me and not even allowed me but he has afforded me just the life where I can be home with my kids because of how hard he's worked. I am dependent on him mm -hmm. to some level, to some degree. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. Yeah, 100%. And the issue that I see is that there is a, like a, a negative stereotype nowadays on dependence. Like, it is. You say the word dependent and a lot of people, like if you say that in a large group of people, I think, people would squirm a little bit. They tense up because I don't know if it's just our generation, um, but there's at some point been a shift. And I think it's like Western culture more so as well. Like, you know, uh, the U S that you have to be independent. Yeah. Where do you think that came? Where do you think that came from? Just the idea of an independent man, an independent woman, uh, being able to go out there and make a living on your own, do everything for yourself, uh, not have to depend on your family, not have to depend on friends, whatever, like being self-made, even the idea of being self-made falls from like, the independence tree. Yeah. I think a lot of it probably does come down to the brokenness of the family. Hmm. I think that a lot of people have experienced a lot of pain and hurt in unhealthy family systems because mm -hmm. they were dependent and i think over years of i'll say men mismanaging their roles as husbands and providers and taking care of the family when especially in, like, in the black culture yeah especially yeah. in the black culture so it causes women to want to rise up and be the leaders and the providers and be all of these things that men are supposed to be and there's nothing wrong with us making our own money and doing well for ourselves i am all for that yeah, 100%. i am just such a huge advocate of that but i don't believe that we're supposed to be playing the role of men yeah. and i think that 
it's just caused this whole imbalance in society. And I think a lot of it's just coming from hurt and pain mm. and trauma yeah. Trauma, and people believe, well, I need to do this myself. I need to be independent. I can't depend on a man because when I did, this is what happened. Yeah. So I think it has a lot to do with that. I think a lot of it has to do with pain from people depending on people that actually hurt them. But that doesn't mean that the method is wrong. Mm -hmm. It just means that the way that you were doing it, it was with the wrong person or the wrong people. Mm, yeah. Because even when you think about Adam and Eve, you literally brought this up when we were talking about this episode, you were like, God literally said in the beginning, it is not good for a man to be alone. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna do things biblically, then there is a level of dependence. Right. And we shouldn't be scared of that word. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. God created, like, he created Adam. Um, he created creation. But after all that was created, he looked at it and said, yeah, I can't let this man be by himself and do this alone. And he created someone to partner with Adam. He created Eve so that they could rule and have dominion over the earth together. Together. And so it's like if God's plan was based off of two human beings being dependent on each other, I think that's a principle that we should apply to every area of our life. Yes. In marriage, in purpose, in business. And like when, when I look at any organization, any type of group of people who are doing things on a mass scale, there's collaboration at the heart of it. Like yeah. if you look at churches who are making an, an impact, whether that be on, uh, in a city, state, or globally, whether you look at businesses who are doing millions, hundreds of millions, billions, trillions of dollars per year. If you look at um, couples who are, who are making an impact, like if you look at entertainment, like every sector that is doing something at scale and is doing something successfully, collaboration is an essential part. That's so good. Um, and so I think it's, it is harder to do that up front, um, I think to find the pieces that work together to find the partnerships that work together, but it's worth whenever you start something, starting with that in mind. Yes. Instead of figuring it out after you're, you know, worn out and tired and burnt out and all those other things. Yes. I think that the one main thing that I want everyone to get from this podcast episode is that there's levels to unity. There's levels to collaboration. Elijah and I have been married for, like I said, almost seven years. And we're just tapping into another level of collaboration and another level of unity. And just because you're joined together with someone doesn't automatically mean that you are unified with them to the highest capacity that God has for you in that season. Mm -hmm. And I think what's important is going to God in each season and asking him, what does collaboration look like for us in this season? Yeah. And how can we walk that out together truly in the fullness of unity mm -hmm. because two are better than one even in ecclesiastes it says if one falls down then they can help that other person get up it's so well, important well, the one who falls down and has the one to pick him up exactly right. yeah you're in trouble if you fall down and you don't have someone that you're partnered with that can help you up so. exactly so as we're living this out and we're walking this out I really want to extend the invitation for you guys to do the same in your own marriages, even with your friendships. Just in, there's so many areas in your life where you could be collaborating at a higher level. So definitely ask yourself what that could be and ask God what he has for you because I do believe that what's hindering a lot of us from that next level of greatness is the lack of collaboration. Yeah, so. and some, something else that popped up while you were talking was that before there can be collaboration, there has to be self-awareness. So if you don't know what your strengths are, and most of us, I feel like, it's easier to, to know your strengths. But if you don't know what your weaknesses are, and if you're not willing to sit down and say, man, I'm not good at this. Yeah. And that's okay. Like, There's no way that I'm gonna be good at everything. All right? right? And so it's like being able to analyze what areas am I weak in? Um, Am I even able, like, do I have the ability to be able to communicate with people, uh, to deal with conflict if we partner together? Yeah. Because 
partnership is not always just going to be flowers, roses, and and laughs. Like yeah. there will be a time where tough conversations will need to be had. Yeah. So I think uh, a great thing about collaboration is also that it will push you to be better in some of those areas that you're weak in. If you're not a great communicator, if you're going to partner with people, you need to figure out how to communicate better. Right. Right. Um, if you're if you can't handle conflict well, and you're going to try to partner with folks, uh, you're going to have to figure that out. Um, so just being aware to know where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, what areas you need to improve in, all of those things are going to allow you to collaborate um, at a larger scale um, and just better overall, like more in a more healthy way. So good. That's all so good. And I completely agree. So, babe, how mm -hmm. would you say that we are intentionally collaborating now? Yeah, so we're making some big changes in life. Um, we're reading a book right now to, together, actually. Yeah, which I think that is, is really true. great. Um, it's some just a way that we uh, an outward expression of our collaboration. Yeah, but we're reading this book. Ten X is easier than two X. Such a good book, guys. Which, which has been really, really great. Uh, Benjamin Hardy and Dan Sullivan, I believe. Uh, really great book, but I think that's helping us to um, narrow down our focus in the areas that we want to collaborate and narrow down the how of collaboration. Yeah. Uh, so something that they talk about in that book is just actually like removing a lot of the things that you're doing and really focusing on the things that make a big impact. So one of the things that's that we've seen has made a huge impact when it comes to us collaborating is waking up early in the morning, right? Yeah. Um, I've been waking up, trying to wake up at 5 a.m. on and off for like two years. It's been a two-year journey of getting consistent at it. But so something that we've decided to do is to wake up. Um, we'll both be up by 6 a.m., have a meeting in the morning, and uh, just make sure that we're on the same page. So I think before action, like before you can take action, there needs to be like kind of a meeting of the minds. Yeah. Like the vision has to be shared before you can take action. So we're starting off our day and we're going to say, all right, how can I help you? How can you help me? What are we jointly working on? Like what's the goal of the day? What's the vision of the day? Just making sure we're on one accord um, and starting there. Right? And then having, like, I think once the plan is made and like once the strategy is there, it's easy for us to, um, to just follow through with it. Yeah. But like, that's, that's the biggest step. That's so good. Yeah. And I also feel like us doing that, it's going to naturally lead to collaboration, even in the small things and make each day to day better. Mm -hmm. Because if we're asking each other questions like, well, how can I support you today for the things that you want to accomplish? Yep. Then it's not just oh, we're seeing collaboration in the big picture things, but we're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, which I actually believe is going to dramatically improve our familial life as well. Mm -hmm. Even though family feels good, there's just always levels yeah. to greatness and mm -hmm. how things can be better. So I'm really looking forward to that. And also, even with our spiritual life, I'm so grateful for that because I feel like we've been collaborating more with that. Yeah. Uh, just like fasting together, fasting together. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like when we come together and we fast, I don't know, I just be getting answers quicker. Yeah. My dreams are so clear. Like yeah. even last year, like when it comes to the spiritual piece, we haven't done it consistently, but last year we read Joshua together, like the whole chapter of Joshua, the whole book of Joshua, not the chapter, the whole book of Joshua. And I feel like the, uh, the time that we took to study it together and the understanding of it just bouncing ideas off of each other, yeah. stopping from verse to verse to talk about it after we read each chapter doing a discussion. It's just like when you have a dialogue back and forth and you get someone else's perspective, like your understanding is so much deeper. Yes, I agree with that. When typically we just read scripture on read, our yeah, own. Yeah, solo dolo. You know? Mm -hmm. So I agree. I feel like even our Bible studies together, we learn so much more, more when we're talking yep. about it. So that is a huge piece. Fasting, huge piece. Prayer, mm -hmm. huge piece. Yeah, yeah. Just being transparent and vulnerable about where we need prayer mm -hmm. and just being able to support each other to a different level is already impactful and yeah. impacting our lives drastically. Mm -hmm. And I believe from that place is 
going to flow so much fruit in our lives yeah. because we are actually coming together to a different degree. So yeah. I'm really excited for what God is doing in this season. I'm excited for what's going to come mm -hmm. from us being more intentional about collaborating. Yeah. And I'm also excited for us to love and serve each other to a different degree. Yeah, I believe this is going to open up just different ways that we can serve each other. And I'm really excited for that because I just feel like when we're serving each other well in our marriage, our marriage feels so good. Yeah. So. And to, to really bring it back around full circle, because something we talked about at the beginning of the episode was that when we first tried to quote unquote collaborate, what we thought was collaborating was like we were trying to delegate responsibilities on each other. Yeah. Off of off of our own plates. Right. Um, but I think now we're collaborating together in areas where like we're both partnering together yeah but even in our own specific careers i think we found the healthy way yeah to collaborate in our careers which is like anytime um i have something going on we have a meeting and we just sit there and brainstorm together yeah and it's like all right what's the best for your business at this time what's the best plan of action for your career with other stuff that's going on right and the same thing for you it's yeah. like with uh, you're doing brand deals, influencing, things like that. And we're sitting down, we're talking, all right, what's the best strategy? Yeah. You know, and not that I necessarily need to be in a reel or I need to be in a YouTube video, but when we come together and we strategize and we think together and we have two minds working on the same thing, like that's true partnership and true collaboration versus, you know, me asking you to send some email responses. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I hate those email responses. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I completely agree. And recently we did that with your business. And recently we did that with my social media. Yep. And the fruit from those conversations was just beautiful and amazing. Yep. So I'm really excited, guys. And I hope this podcast helped you. We are going to ask each other the question we always ask each other at the end of every podcast. Got to keep that. Yeah, yeah, we have keep to keep question. it, which is, why am I your muse this week, babe? Why are you my muse this week? You're my muse because regardless of what level we've reached in marriage, regardless of um, how much we've accomplished, you're always willing to learn. You're always willing to grow. You're always willing to uh, come together and figure out what's the next thing. And that's inspiring just your willingness um, your motivation and your vision for, uh, for growth and for improvement. I love that. He actually stole mine. Uh, I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say you're my muse because of your willingness to grow. There we go. I've actually been thinking about that a lot lately because I know that there are people that are married to people uh -huh. that aren't willing to grow and change. Yeah. They just stuck. They're stuck and stuck it sucks. Stupid. That sucks. But I feel like why I'm so grateful for you is because you are literally not the same man that I married. And if you were, we wouldn't be married. We probably wouldn't be married. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, probably wouldn't be married. But I think the beauty of you is the fact that you've changed in every season mm -hmm. and you keep getting better. Like yeah. you're actually aging like fine wine hey fine wine when huh? it comes to purpose and stuff and it just makes me so happy because i'm like man i'm really married to the man of my dreams and he's gonna keep growing into the man yeah. of my dreams yeah. and i'm so grateful for that at some point we got to get past your dreams and then it's just it's, it's beyond. <laughs> no seriously so i really love that i'm so grateful thank you so much babe, love you, babe. i love you too but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode and That's we'll be it. back. That's a wrap. We'll see y'all episode two, season one, episode two, coming up soon. <laughs> Bye. Peace.